My love, beautiful souls, it's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing dark into the light. This is a timeless read, so when you guide it to this truth, clarity, confirmation, message you're looking for. You may be also guided to my channel as my home mission to wake you up, try yourself, higher conscious, help you send 5D. Please take what resonates and leave it does not confuse me. This is my personal reading, not a personal reading. If you'd like to book a reading with me, please go to the description box below. I am available for readings. You can also email me at dreammystical.lsc at gmail.com. I want to say thank you to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. I love you guys. I would not be where I'm at. It's not for you guys. So, again, thank you. Thank you to the people that are part of Truth Seeking members. I appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to the newest Truth Seeking member. Um, I'm pulling up her name. If you want to join, it's $3.99 per month. You can click on my profile picture or um, click the join. So, I want to give a shout out to Jason Shadra Rashwood. For joining the True Seeking members, please email me your one free question, one on one on the clock, okay? New beginning for you. Somebody needs to have a new beginning. But yeah, thank you, Jason Shraga or Shrede Rashwood. Thank you, okay? Thank you for um joining. Again, if you want to ask, uh, email me your one free question, okay? I will get back to you within uh, um, 24 hours to or 24 to 72 hours for that free question. Okay, thank you again to everyone. So, you guys, the download I had was that um your psychic abilities scares the F out of these people, okay? Your psychic ability scares the F out of these people. They did not know how psychic you were. They did not know that you could be a prophet, a seer, a high priestess, a magician. It scares the F out of them, okay? Literally scares the F out of them of your psychic abilities, your psychic gifts, okay? Everything that you have said has came true, okay? Everything that you have said has came true, even if it has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with them or other people in your community. There's things that you have said. There's things that you have brought up. There's things that you have um, warned people about, and they all have seen now that you are speaking truth, okay? You are speaking, speaking truth, so they are scared. They are scared of your psychic gifts, okay? How strong, how powerful your gifts are, abilities you have. Um, everything, I just keep hearing everything that you have said has came true, okay? Has been prophesized, okay? Um, prophesized. So, they are scared. They're now they're wishing they went to like I'm hearing they could have they could have down downgraded you or like um underestimated you they could have shut you out they could have put you down they walked away they ignored you they they were talking about how crazy you were you didn't know what you're talking about said you needed some mental help I'm hearing you needed to go psych psychiatric you needed some psychiatric help all this stuff they were talking about you okay and it, now they're seeing wow this person is a high priestess this person is very very gifted okay. Um, I'm hearing you could have helped by you saying something. They didn't want to listen to you. And there's something about you were able to help somebody without them even knowing. Okay. Without them even knowing. Okay. Um, they were not paying attention. They weren't paying attention to signs, messages, synchronicities in the, in the past. And you showed them, you showed them to wake up. Like you, you woke this, you woke these people up as well. Okay. You woke them up. Okay, there's there's a big change in their life. I'm also hearing like with your psychic gift abilities, you could bring karma to people's lives. Okay, you are the karma. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Okay, that is not a bad thing. That's actually a really good thing. Um, if somebody is doing something wrong, then they're gonna receive their bad karma. If somebody's doing so, when I'm getting out of that energy is Mott. Okay, Mott in um Egyptian, she was um justice balance. Okay, if light is a feather, you go to heaven. Um, if you um are heavy, you go to the underworld. Okay. Light as a feather to heaven, speaking truth, honest, pure, you go to heaven. If you're lying, if you're lower vibration, you go to the underworld. And that's what uh goddess Egyptian Mott was, okay? That I'm hearing you have that gift, that ability. That's one of your abilities, okay? Um Yeah, okay, goddess of uh, perception of truth and cosmic balance. You bring cosmic balance and justice. That's why you are the justice, you are the karma, okay? You are that. That's why that scares the crap out of them. So if they were doing something wrong and you try to tell them they're doing something wrong, they're going to go to jail. They're going to go to jail. Okay. You warn them. If you told them, okay, well, you're doing so well, you're doing this, you're going to have blessings. They're going to get their blessings. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. It's like, you're the cosmic balance. That's your gift is a cosmic balance. You bring balance. You bring karma. And that's what karma is balance. Okay. Um, and right now we're in October coming in October. Um, which is Libra. Libra's coming around um, 20th, isn't it? The 20th of Libra. So we're still in... Um, are we still in... Virgo? What is it? 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna um Libra's coming around the corner. We're in Libra. We're in Libra. Sorry, we're in Libra right now. Truth. See, Matt was the guy's a truth, justice, balance, most important order. You are the guy's order. Okay? That's what you bring. You bring the balance. You bring that. And that's why they're scared. They're scared shitless of your gifts and abilities. Because if they're doing you wrong, if they if they stole from you, they're gonna be stolen from, or they're gonna have to do jail time, or they're gonna be um in spiritual jail under judgment, okay? If they are um, helping you, giving you a place to live, or helping you get a job, or giving you a promotion, they're going to be blessed, okay? They're going to be blessed. That's the gift that you have, and that's why they're scared shitless. That's why they're scared as F, because of that, okay? Right here. Um, um, In painting, she was just as a woman who is eating, sitting, either sitting or standing with an ostrich feather on her head, and in some cases, she was just with wings. The ability to breathe air. Water life. Mott's potion, potion brought an afterlife after death to the peaceful and law-abiding people. But death to violent and cruel people, Mott was very powerful. So cruel, um, so people that were good, loving, she would bring a peaceful death, okay? Going to heaven and um, the ones that were making violent and criminals and stuff cruel, they would have a very violent death. They would be living in hell, okay? They would be burning in hell, okay? Um... Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Again, what I'm hearing is your gifts, abilities, is truth, justice, harmony, balance, order, prosperity, um, reciprocation. Okay, that's right there. Very important, very important. Cosmic order, just, I mean, like a cosmic order. Okay, you come from the cosmics, cosmic order. That's why they are so afraid of your gifts and your abilities and your powers. You're the key. You hold the key, okay? You have the key to the city. You were initiated. You were initiated in the spiritual realm because of how pure you are, because how loving you are, because you forgive unconditional love, okay? I'm not saying you're perfect, though. Spirit's saying you are not perfect. No one's perfect, okay? But because you are loving, caring, unconditional, you are pure. Um, you There is a dark side possibly to you, too, and you worked on that. You sh you did your shadow work, inner healing, okay? You you see the duality. You see your dark and light. You um. You worked, for, you worked on yourself, okay? Then that's where you got initiated, okay? Always with pure energy, and you believe you can be. I can be. I can be the justice. I can be the truth. I can bring um, cosmic order. Okay, law, and, and that came out in the last reading, law and order. Okay. Yeah, you hold that magical key. People don't want to f with you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. People don't want to f with you. They do not want to mess with you. Okay, if they mess with you, <coughs> or they mess with people in your community. Or vulnerable, if people mess with the vulnerable, they're gonna have to pay. If, they, if you know about it, you see about it in your community, these people have to pay. You are the justice, you bring justice. What else, Garrett? Thank you. Silence, okay. You went in a silence to realize what you are, your powers, your gifts, and these people are starting to see it now, too. Okay, they're starting to see it now, too. The silence. Silence within you. Silent retreat. I just want to... My heart is open to receiving, giving love as I transform my inner world so my outer world reflects. This is a card that will help Keep showing up in you. Showing up if you do not listen. The figure in the card sits with key, legs crossed, and headphones on the counted smile of their face. The heart space radiates a bright green color, and you feel calming presence with wash over you as your silence over yourself. The silent retreat is a lesson in physical strength like no other. You must tame your tongue and resist the need to correct, explain, or deny detail. When this card comes to you, it is important to see where you may be t talking too much. Remaining silent will bring you more alignment watermelon tourmaline someone needs watermelon tourmaline i have that in my shop you guys so this is the thing there could be too many people talking too many people going on and they need silence okay they need they need to get away from this okay somebody needs to get away from this i, I don't feel like this is yours i feel like this is other people people are trying to people are trying to shut you up people did not want you to talk people did not want you to say things okay someone's trying to silence you is what i'm taking on this too somebody's be trying to silence you okay Someone is trying to silence you. I do have watermelon tourmaline in my shop, you guys. Bracelets, watermelon tourmaline. 
It's a very beautiful bracelet. It protects as well, calms your mind. Gratitude, okay, that's the thing. You you're grat you have a lot of gratitude, okay? You you give thanks to what you have, the small things, the big things, okay? I'm hearing when you wake up in the morning, you say, I'm grateful for breathing air. I'm grateful for waking up. I'm grateful for, you know, being alive. I'm grateful for having, you know, clothes, shower, water, food. You're grateful for what you have, okay? You're grateful for having peace and peace of mind. You know, you're grateful for having inner um peace, stuff like that. So um, you're grateful for what you have. Okay, you create, you're creating, and that's the thing too. You're able to create now, and you have a vision. You create powerful things. You are the great diviner. You uh, you bring awakenings into people's lives too. Okay, you wake them up, and that's the thing as well. The gift that you have is also bringing awakenings. So, they um need a, when somebody needs to wake up you you they come in your they come in your bubble they come in your energy and you're able to wake them up it may not just be overnight though it could take them months years before they wake up but that's what you are you're that comic karmic balance you're the cosmic balance okay again very very powerful is what i'm hearing okay very very powerful you're the queen okay they played you as a villain i'm hearing they played you as a villain but you were never the villain. You were always the helper. You were always the um, the kind one. But they played you off as a villain. Don't doubt your worth, okay? Not doubting your worth. I am always enough. You are always enough. Lighthouse, you light the way, okay? You're a light bringer, a beacon. You light the way for others. When they see darkness, you can help pull them out of the darkness. Yeah, Rome. Your potential is endless. You're queen. Queen on the throne, queen witch, queen mermaid, queen of um the heavens, queen of the underworld, queen, like I said, goddess, queen, mot, okay, balance, order, okay, duality, you know both, good and bad. Some of the people... I gotta take this. Okay, guys, that was a scam. That was a telemarketer. But it's significant, significant when I was talking about this. Um, it was from Bermidji, Minnesota. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pull this up because it's significant. Bermidji, Minnesota. <coughs> it's about handicapped service dogs. Somebody has a service dog. <coughs> Somebody may have a service dog or you're a service to others. Okay? Because it's talking about um, phone, a foundation. You may be having a foundation as well, too. But something about service to others. But it said service dogs foundation. Pay attention to those. Those are messages from spirit guides. Those scams, those calls are um messages. You need to like I answered it. it it's that spirit saying that they're here with you. Okay. Says that like again, something about service to others. Remember, I know if somebody talked about um dog trafficking and stuff like that, but somebody may have a service dog or your service to others. Okay, dog energy, loyal, okay, compassionate too, because it was talking about dogs. Dogs are loyal. Okay, purity foundation. 44, mother of the sea, goddess. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of ocean. Okay, surrender to the boundless creative flow. You are the goddess of the sea, mother of the sea. You surrender. Okay, the little star, divine, my inner child whole is pleased. Your inner child is whole and complete. Okay, you've healed that. And now you're helping other people to heal that, okay? You're helping other people to find their divinity. Okay, what else? What else? What else? These psychic gifts scare the crap out of people. Thank you, spirit. Wow, look at that. Dog on the bottom. Friend. I just said that on the bottom. Today I will love without condition. See, you love without condition. Okay? My energy and enthusiasm are my inspiration. I choose to be happy. I'm a protector and friend. You're a protector and friend. That's why it's coming out. You're a protector and a friend too, okay? You protect the people. But if people do you wrong or people do people people do things wrong, you bring justice. You bring karma, okay? You, you bring the cosmic balance. Ram, preservance. You have many gifts. No problem can with, withstand the power of your mind. Your mind is very powerful. With patience, you can reach your uh, mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. I don't know what my thing is, my card. Never give up. Good luck with follow, okay? Yeah, they're really, really scared of... That's not what I want. Of your abilities. What's that? Right here. 
you are marvelous, okay? They thought you were just a normal person. They thought you were just somebody that was did not know left from right. They did not know. They they literally thought you were, I'm hearing, dumber than a box of rocks, okay? They they did not think you had smarts. You could have been a uh, damsel in distress. You could have been vulnerable. Um, they, they thought you were a nobody. Okay, I'm hearing they thought you were a nobody. And then when you started speaking things in existence, you started speaking the truth, and things started, like, showing up in their life that, wow, this is happening. Like, you warn people about other, other people. Okay, so I'm hearing you warn people about other people, like, they're doing this, they're doing that. They're Like, you warn people, done this before, they're going to do it again. So you warn them. You, you try to tell these people, if they're going to do this, they're going to do it to you again, okay? You try to warn these people. And they're seeing that now. Someone's coming back for false attentions, okay, these people. So, again... Um, they did not see your gifts. They now that your gifts scared the crap out of them, because you know their secrets. Okay, you you can I'm hearing you can read minds telepathy. You read their minds, so you know what they're thinking before they do it. You know what's happening before. Okay, you can you can find out their deepest darkest secrets that they've done. And now that could be why somebody else try to come back in because they feel that if they come back in that um, you can't out them, expose them. You were the phoenix rising. If not, Phoenix Rise and wait and see. They could have spiritually killed you. Okay, these people that could have spiritually killed you, unalived you. Okay, had hit out on you as well because of your gifts. They thought you were talking to authorities. They taught they thought you were talking to other people to know what they, they knew. So <clears throat> they thought you were um finding out information from them, fishing for information, finding out information from other people, like going to other people to find out information or like you're stalking them or digging into their stuff, but you were not. Spirit was telling you all this stuff. Everything you were saying or doing or you knew about them, it's because Spirit told you. You were not stalking them. You were not looking on their Facebook. You were not going to other people, talking to other people, asking people about the situation. You were literally hearing from Spirit their problems. Their, their, you were reading their mind. You had the gift of telepathy. You have the gift of reading minds. People do not believe it really happens, but you do. You have the gift because you are cosmic balance. You are um, a high priestess, a cosmic being. I am ready for the future, life together, so you are ready for the future. Somebody's ready to come back in. Somebody knows this was wrong. You have new sex time coming in. Okay, real deal for real deal. So you have somebody new coming in now, okay? Coming in, that's going to be the real thing, okay? That's going to be the real thing, okay? Um, Somebody from the past was wrong, okay? Was not good. This was a blessing in disguise. Also, you were the blessing in disguise for the people too, which they, okay, I'm hearing these people could have pushed you away, shut you out, didn't want to listen to you, thought you were like, I'm literally hearing like them telling you, shut up, be quiet. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Or just totally ignoring you. You're talking, you're telling them things, they're totally ignoring it. But you were supposed to be their blessing in disguise. You were supposed to help bring them good karma. You were supposed to help fix their karma, like bring them out of the darkness so they can receive good karma. But instead they did you wrong, so now they're going to receive bad karma. They're fake busy, so somebody could have been fake busy all the time when you're trying to help them. They're lying, saying they're doing this and that. They weren't doing anything. Somebody wants to call it truce with you because now they see that your gifts are very powerful. Your psychic gifts are powerful. They come from God. Your gifts come from God, from God. They don't come from Satan. They come from God because they're pure. Now they want to call it truce. Because if they call it truce, then they can't get their karma. Then they won't go to hell. They won't live in purgatory. Somebody's living in purgatory because what they did to you, they're living in hell. They still feel the pain inside. They're sad. You weren't trying to hurt these people. You were just trying to help these people. By telling them the truth. They didn't want to hear the truth. They thought you were lying. They thought you are storytelling. You're going in the right direction, yes. And rewards for recognition, rewards for all your hard work, okay, is coming. Success. Nothing else matters to you now. But um, So there's this other person coming in. Now you're, you're worried about yourself and like um, nothing else matters to me or for us, okay? So this is, you're just worried about yourself and um, about your new relationship. Vulnerability is high as F. Fuck, okay? So somebody thinks as you're vulnerable, they see that. Will is it? Will is in your favor. Good luck on your side. Yeah, see, they're sending tele telepath messages. See, you were receiving telepath messages. You were able to read people's minds. A set of masters are guiding you. They thought you were gossiping, okay? Gossiping for bitches. They thought you were gossiping. They thought you were getting all this gossip information, but you were not. 
you're just hearing right from spirit, as I said, your gift was right from spirit. It's consciousness, okay? Oneness. Union with consciousness. They were born to destroy you. So some people were born to destroy you. They were trying to destroy you. You are stronger than the enemy. They feel drawn to you now. Okay, somebody feels drawn to you because of your cosmic balance. You don't feel the way that you did for these people anymore. Okay? You don't feel it that way anymore. Okay? You don't. Okay? I'm hearing you You still have official love. Um, but you, you don't... Um, you wear your heart on the sleeve. But you don't give all your, your heart and energy to people now anymore, okay? You don't give it all anymore. You do what you need to do, what Spirit tells you to do, and that's that's what you do, okay? You know when to cut, cut them off and cut, like, that's a gift too. Now you know when to cut them off. You know when um your time is to walk away from these people that you are, you know when you're supposed to go in and help somebody and when to walk away. Okay, that's another gift. You know when to go in to help somebody and then walk away and say, okay, I helped this person. I've been with this person for a day. I'm helping this person. Um, they're, They now are going to do it on their own. Or you've been with this person for five days and now they're on their own. Or three months. Okay, it could be a season. It could be a day. It could be annually. Um, You know now because that's the gift you have. You have the gift of um, knowing, okay, when and when to walk away and when to um, stay because your chakras are balanced too, okay? You have that gift. <clears throat> You also know now, like, if um, if it's sincere, if they are listening, if they are helping, or if they're, they're, they're trying. If you don't know a guy's mat, go read guy's mat, because that's what I'm hearing, okay? You have the power of guy's mat. <clears throat> very, very beautiful. Okay, mat, beautiful goddess, okay, archetype of goddess, mat. Okay. Okay, you can switch archetypes too. It doesn't always have to be um people get confused with that. People think, oh, they they, they follow Isis. But one moment you can follow Gaius Isis, and then one moment you could be following Gaius Amat as well. You don't have to just um particularly be on one Gaius archetype. You could you could you could switch because closing out cycles and it depends on what energy and what, what what's going on in your life. So you you could switch. You shape shifter as well, okay? I'm hearing you shape shifter as well. Okay, look at Jeff. Wow, see justice. Your balance. You bring justice. Come on. That's a powerful gift. Okay, that's a powerful gift to have. You are the walking justice. You bring guidance. You receive guidance from the higher realms. You receive guidance from God. But then you bring guidance. 30 and 15 can be significant. Okay, because you aligned. You aligned yourself. You help people align with their um with their higher purpose as well, too. You can see people. You can see demons' faces or angels' faces, okay? You can see if they're demons or angels. But you still help the demons and you still help the angels. You will be self-rewarded. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing. You see demons' faces. You see angels' faces, okay? But you help both. You don't just... you know, If there's a demon, um, you don't just say, okay, I can't help that demon. No. Because if you have... The, if you are truly divine... There's a thing going off. If you're truly divine... This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. The purpose is to maintain and improve alert and warning capabilities at the federal, state, local, tribal, and territorial levels and to evaluate the nation's public alert and warning capabilities. No action is required by the public. Wow. You guys know what time it is. It's actually 119. It says it's going to be at 120. It's 119. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you bring that. Okay, what else there? You bring divine truth. You're divine feminine. You bring divine truth to people. That's what they don't like. That's why they're scared of it, because you bring divine truth. People don't want to hear the truth. Okay, people don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, divine feminine, divine masculine, sun, Leo energy, enlightenment. Okay, you bring enlightenment to people. 
you enlighten people, empowerment, wish fulfillment. Okay. If you can grant wishes, like you help them, like, like I said, blessing in disguise. If they're in the right path, they'll be blessed. If they're going down the wrong path, they're going to get their karma. Okay. Genie in a bottle. Genie in a bottle. You grant their wishes. You're not God, though. Okay, that's, that's totally different. You're not God. You go right to God. You you're, you do God's work on the earth realm, okay? You help them. So, by... Um, how do I say this? People that are... Okay, if you're watching this, you'll understand if you are woken and you have ascended to 5D and higher, okay? You'll understand. But once you receive that level, you see that if somebody's in your life... So, here, example for a friend of mine. Um, she will, she wanted her to get her children back full time. She's doing everything by the book. All I have to do is keep praying and telling I go right to God and say, God, she's, you know, doing everything right. She's doing, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. She wants her full time. She wants her kids back full time. God's going to grant that wish for her. Okay. Because she's doing what she's doing. Okay. Then I have somebody that is, um, say an example. I have somebody that is stealing from per somebody and I go right to God. I go, God, this person is stealing from these people. This person needs to be caught. God's going to get this person caught. Okay. That's what I'm saying is like, you are that person. Okay, you are the person you grant wishes, you go right to God, and God then does that. Okay, you go to God because you had that commitment, you had that, you had that interaction with God, source. Okay, twin flames, so that they look at masculine, divine, feminine. So, again, twin flames is actually coming back into union with oneself. Okay, it's the divine, feminine, divine, masculine balanced out. Okay, you balance out your divine, feminine, and masculine, you balance your left hemisphere and your right hemisphere, bringing it back to one. Okay, source, creator. Okay, ultimately, you're the twin flame. Okay. People think the twin flame is another person coming in, but you balance that out and you do have somebody coming in that's going to be a divine counterpart. But what it is, is actually balancing out your feminine and masculine energy, your left hemisphere and your right hemisphere into one, going back to source creator. Okay? That's why you're balanced. You are fully balanced. Okay? You help people out of toxicity. Okay? Because you broke free from it. You learn how to get out of it. So that's why you learn how to get out of it. You learn how to break patterns and you're helping people break patterns as well by bringing divine truth. Okay, you bring divine truth. They're afraid of that. So, I mean, the, people are afraid of the truth. People are afraid of the gifts. That, uh, people are afraid of divine truth. Okay? There's people projecting their energy on you. Be careful with that because somebody's trying to project their energy. Also, look, you look to yourself in the mirror and you realize what you had to fix. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. That's why you're able to help people because you look to you look to yourself in the mirror and you realize what you needed to fix. By you fixing what, what you needed to fix, you're able to fix other people as well. Help other people heal. But people try to project their energy on you. So you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself from these people as well when you help demons. Because, yeah, see, people are watching. Okay, people are watching to see how gifted you are, powerful you are. Okay, we I have here in the dark elites and um light, like the dark elites, the elites are scared of your gifts and abilities because of the fact that you are very powerful because you get them right from God. And I'm hearing a supreme, okay, a supreme goddess, okay, supreme, um, supreme being, okay, that's what I'm hearing. You are a supreme being. Okay. Okay. There's triggers. You you help people with triggers. You may know you may have learned you went to school for triggers. Something something about people get triggered. You can help them. People get conflicts. You help people with triggers and conflicts. Okay, but somebody's trying to trigger you as well. Ace of Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. <clears throat> healing. You have the healing power. Okay, healing inner child. You heal people. And look at the child. You healed your inner child, so you're able to help heal other people's inner child. Okay? You weren't guilty. You could have been guilty in the past. They're, they're, these people are guilty, okay? They're guilty of their crimes. They're guilty of hurting you. They're guilty. And that's why they're scared, too. They, they could be trying to sabotage you. You could have been telling them, too, if they're guilty or not guilty. Okay? I'm, I am hearing you telling people that if they're, if they're going to go to court, they're going to be found guilty. And they're like, no, I'm not. And you're like, yes, you're going to be found guilty. Okay? Celebration gives abundance and decisions, making the right decisions. Yeah, these, these, they're, they did not realize, they did not realize what power you had. They're scared. They're scared because they know their karma is coming. If they did you wrong, these people that are scared, they know. Look, I said divine, trusting. Divine timing. You bring divine truth. That's the thing. Is there's there's so that flew on the floor. They are so scared because you bring divine truth, and then they um they have tower moments. You bring tower moments in these people's life as well. Okay, they they cause these tower moments in their life. They don't like that. 
They don't like that you know more about them. Okay, so that's another thing. You know more about them because like they they're con they they're not conscious. They're not they're not consciously aware of things. So you know more about them than they know about themselves because they're so sleeping. That's why they don't like it either. That's why they're scared of it. They're scared because you know more about them. They need to surrender. They need to release. Okay. You know more about them than they know about themselves, and they don't like that because they're not awoke. They're not conscious. You know more of their thoughts. Look at that. You know their thoughts before they know. You like you know before they're going to say something or do something. And they're like, wow, how does this person know that? That's why, okay, that's why I'm hearing too is they think that the reason you know about their thoughts, that's why they think that you, I'm hearing something about, they think that you hacked in their system or they're like you're stalking them or you're following them or you have somebody gaslighting them or like um, spying on them. But you don't. You don't have that. You're not following them. You're not worried about like, you're just hearing the stuff from spirit. You're not stalking. You're not hacking into their stuff. You're not um, following them. You don't have other people following them. It's just because spirit is telling you. You get this information from spirit. You don't have to drive around. You don't have to do all this other hard work. You just, you hear it. Okay, you hear it and you know it. It comes to you. It comes right to you because of spirit. I will grab some names. Again, you help people that are good and bad, demons and angels. You help both, okay? You don't you don't just um, um, pick and choose, okay? You don't pick and choose. You, you don't get to pick and choose. God picks and chooses who you help and who you don't help is what I'm hearing. Your service to others. So when God sends you in to help that person, that devil, or that demon, or that angel, you are supposed to, you are meant to help, okay? When God sends you in, you are meant to help. Okay, it doesn't matter if you like this person or not, I'm hearing too. You may not like this person, you may not like their spirit, but if God is telling you to help this person, you're meant to help this person. Okay? Because there's something that you're going to learn from this person as well, Spirit says. So you may not like this person, but Spirit sends you to go help this person. And you may not like the, their spirit, you may not like it, um, but there's a lesson you're going to learn from it too. Okay? A, a learning lesson. Plain, someone to be plain. Batman energy. Prada. Fashion, something about fashion, insurance, Elba, Texas, Heather, they need to respect you. These people need to respect you, okay? They need to start respecting you. They need to put respect on your name. They did not, they, they I'm hearing they, got, they, they, um, they put, they garnished your name or whatever. They, they, um, they hurt your reputation. I'm hearing these people could have hurt your reputation, okay? These people that are scared of you, they could hurt your reputation. They could have um, tarnished it. Sorry, tarnished it. Um, they could have slandered you. They could have talked crap about you, gossip about you. But they need to respect it. They need to fix it, okay? These people are going to be fixing it. These people are going to be talking about you in a good way, okay? Chem Lab, Science Lab, Mankato, Smoking Green, Days of Our Lives. Look at drama. <laughs> Sweeney, Dante, Desmond, Roadrunner. Somebody's a Roadrunner. Gatsby, some of you could have been Gatsby, your past life Gatsby. Um, improve, yeah, see, you're improving and you can help improve people's lives, okay? Help prove people. Um, movie industries, Ella or encrypted. Something's encrypted. You could be receiving encrypted codes, you could be receiving DNA codes activations as well. Latoya, Phoenix, Rising, okay, that came out again, Roxanne. We have Chilson. Karmic doing womb magic. Somebody's trying to do womb magic to stop you to be creative, okay? Womb magic could be trying for you not to have babies, but also be creative to re so you don't receive your gifts and abilities. So somebody's been trying to stop that. Ashton, Space, Kiki, Pablo, Serena, Latoya. Damn, Latoya came out twice. Brooke, or Booker. I said Brooke, but Booker. Too many burdens. Social Security. Somebody can have Social Security. Dementia, okay, this is the thing, loss of memory, forgetting things that paid. Some of you may have dementia, but when we come to Earth, we forget who we are. We have dementia, okay? And that's what the government, what um these dark forces, the devil, Satan wants us to keep living in dementia, um, having spiritual dementia where we don't remember ourselves, don't wake up, okay? But sometimes, like, there's a time and place that we get activated and we remember. You're somebody who walks into somebody's life that has dementia, that has, does not remember their past life. You walk into their life and you allow them to wake up. You, you remove the dementia in them. You remove the lost memory, okay? They start remembering who they are. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. That's the gift of power that you have. You They start remembering who they are because of that. Okay? Hell's Angels. As I said, Hell's, An well, Hell's Angels, a biker's game. But like I said, you may, you help Hell's, you help Hell's people in Hell and you help Angels as well. But something about Hell's Angels. Cell Phone Jammer. Well, somebody's trying to jam your cell phone. 
Sanda, Sanada, Sanada, is it a Sun and Master? Sanada is a Sun and Master. Gomez, and then Clinton and Aries. I'm hearing Mary. I'm hearing Rose. Nova. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna close this out. I gotta go. Yep, there you go. Okay, angel number. They can't match you. They need to respect you. They need to respect you. Oh, I'm full cool one of these. You are from the Cosmics. Let's close this out. Signs, you see the signs, messages, okay? You pay attention to them. Somebody needs to pay attention to the signs, messages. Mystical. Very mystical, okay? You bring new beginnings into people's lives. Okay, again, you answer prayers. Prayers are answered, okay? You call upon God to answer these prayers for these individuals. Again, if it's if it's sincere, I'm hearing if it's sincere, then God will grant these, these prayers. It will answer these prayers if it's sincere. Okay? You do have people watching you. you may, like I said, you may feel like that too, but people are watching you because your gifts and abilities, okay, the powers you have. Okay, they watch that. And like I said, starseed, you're remembering who you are. Okay? We all are starseeds. Remembering identity. Your Merkaba. You open the Merkaba, okay? Movement, long distance, travel, excitement. Also, this is multidimensional, okay? Your Merkaba. Um, you have the frequency of Merkaba. Um, let me actually. Yeah, I'm not bad at this. Oh, okay, so I, I read it right to you guys, so. It connects us with our higher self, okay? That's why you connect to your higher self, okay? The Merkaba enables us to feel unconditional love, Kundalini practices, heart opening, thus healing ourselves as well, okay? Um, you activated that, okay? That's why you activated the Merkaba. These demons don't have a... They did not activate the Merkaba, okay? They don't have unconditional love. You love unconditionally no matter what. That's why you help these demons out. You don't judge. That's the main thing, too. You bring no judgment, but you don't judge them, okay? You bring it right to source, God. 17, divine truth and wisdom. Like I said, you bring divine truth. 23, change, progress, right path, continue growing spiritually. Use the natural ability. Use your natural abilities, talents, and creatives to bring joy, happiness, and peace into people's lives, okay? That's what you do. Taurus. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, number three. You guys, check me out on Etsy. I have 25% off for shipping handling. Also, check out my bracelets, my or check out my bracelets, anklets in there. Um, also, for the month of October, I have a special going on $25.25 for a 15 to 25 minute pre-recorded video. Please email me if you want that, or you can book that on Etsy. I love you. I absolutely love you. Love, peace, light, hail, namaste.